So look, just like in business or in life, you're one person away, one recruit away, either your life changing or your company changing. In Inter Miami, this is a soccer team that was worth $500 million just a year ago. Today, they're guesstimating that the organization is now worth $1.5 billion after recruiting one guy named Messi. June 7th, Inter Miami's Instagram account had 900,000 followers. Today, two and a half months later, it went from 900,000 to 14.3 million, and they just won the champ. They went from the worst to the best. A couple other people showed up. Messi got 50, 60 million a year, plus bonuses, plus possible equity when he's done retiring, playing with these guys after two and a half years. Eventually, his career earnings are going to be around $1.6 billion. So what can you and I learn as a business owner myself? I made seven, eight, nine points how this applies to all of us, how you are one recruit away from taking your life and your business to the next level. All right, so if you get value out of this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Now, for those of you that know who Messi is, he's the GOAT. He just won with Argentina. There's no more argument. It's a done-done. The guy's won seven Ballon d'Ors, won the Champions League four times in the Copa America with Argentina. He scored 815 goals for the club and the country throughout his professional career. I can go on and on. The first and only player in the history to win five and six European Golden Boots. He holds the record for the most goals in La Liga with 474. The player with the most official recorded assists in football history with 357. And he's the only player to have 300 clubs career assist to his name. So having said that, what are the points that we have when it comes down to business? I got market, synergist, vision, proven concept, plant the seed, sell the dream, and follow up, challenge acceptance. So let's go through the market. First of all, to attract somebody as good as Messi to your company, you got to have these eight things in place. Number one, a market. What is the market? Miami, Gustavo Starlinkoff, the man who introduced Messi to his first Miami home, sold Messi unit at Porsche Design Tower in Sunny Isles Beach. In 2019, it was the star's first South Florida property he bought. At the time, it was a $5 million deal handling both sides of transaction for a 4,400 square foot unit on the 47th floor of the 60-story luxury oceanfront tower. Beautiful property. So, comes in, looks at the place, wow, I'm kind of liking Miami. He's seen the market, he's excited about it. Since then, Messi has invested heavily into Miami. No wonder he's considering a two and a half year contract. So, he's coming to Miami, he's liking the market, he's liking what it's looking like, and then all of a sudden he sees, you know, market, Miami is doing their part. Dana White comes out and says, in an interview, oh, Miami just broke the record for the biggest gate for UFC 281, beating God Madison Square Garden. He's given all these numbers, 11 and a half million, it was the same as the main event, and blah, 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 and okay, Miami is what LA was 10 years ago. So the market is ripe to recruit somebody like that. So look, one of the things that happens when you're running a business and you got a big vision, many times you're going to be alone. You don't have somebody to talk to. You want to go to your wife, you can't talk to your wife. You want to go to your family, they're like, nobody told you to start a business. Or anything big you're trying to do with your life, there's going to be moments where you're going to be by yourself. And you're afraid to go talk to somebody, maybe a therapist. Don't use that word to go see a therapist. Guess what? I did. Many times when I was starting my business, I didn't have anybody to talk to. Sometimes you go to a place and you're sitting down and you're like, wait a minute, a coworker is there. What are you doing here? There's a company called BetterHelp, where you get to go and talk to a therapist on your phone. You can have the camera on if you want to. And if you don't want to have the camera on, you don't want to, no problem. You can do with an audio to speak to somebody. If it doesn't work yet, you'll change it up. BetterHelp offers 30,000 licensed and experienced therapists who can help you with a wide range of issues. To get started, all you have to do is answer a few questions about your needs and preferences in therapy. That way, BetterHelp can match you better with the right therapist from their network. Then you can talk to your therapist however you feel comfortable, whether it's via text, chat, phone, or video call. And you can message your therapist at any time and schedule live sessions when it's convenient for you. Get 10% off your first month's order if you go to betterhelp.com forward slash valuetainment and I've also linked them below as well. Again, go to betterhelp.com forward slash valuetainment or click on the link below and you get 10% off your first month. Number two, you need a synergist. The synergist is Beckham. On February 5th of 2014, MLS announced that Beckham had exercised his option to buy MLS expansion team for $25 million, which he had received as part of the contract he signed with the LA Galaxy in 2007. The ownership group led by Beckham originally hoped the Miami-based team would begin play in 2016-2017 after delays in getting a stadium deal completed. MLS announced in January of 2018 that the team had been approved and will likely begin play in 2020. So Beckham, the synergist, like, look, 
this place is great, you may want to come here, what if we do something to get you should come take a look at us, so Beckham's kind of doing his part as a synergist, telling Messi, yeah, you ought to come to MLS, I know we're like better than this, but trust me, we can make this work, we can be heroes and Americans, Messi is thinking about it. Okay, so now we have the market, and we have the synergist, which is kind of like Beckham, he relates to Beckham, Beckham was one of the best players to ever play, you're willing to go to MLS and LA Galaxy, maybe I ought to consider this, but then there was somebody that was planning to see it, and that's Jorge Mas, the owner. In 2019, Inter Miami started talking about getting Messi. I think he comes with a desire to leave his mark, and he will be able to do so beyond football. When he retires, he will have a stake in the club. I imagine a life after football for Messi, very similar to David Beckham or Michael Jordan. He's recruiting now. Hey, you may want to come to, and this is 2019. Think about from 2019, four years ago, till June 7th, of 2023, after he wins the World Cup, you're willing to get a guy like that to come to you? You gotta respect Jorge Mas. They also discussed surrounding Messi with players of his level. So at the same time, while they're talking to Messi, they're like, look, who, who are these guys' best friends? Who, who are your co, who do you wanna play with? And they knew Jordi Alba was one of his best friends. Then they knew Sergio Busquets, which is another teammate that he had in the past. And then a coach who he had played with before from 2014 to 2016, Tata Martino. And they said, hey, if you come here, what if we go get these guys? I'm like, you can't get them. If you get them, I'd be interested. Again, this whole thing is the offer being put together and planting the seed. Eventually, that little vision became a reality. So now you have to realize, while this is happening, Saudi Arabia is offering this guy $400 million. Come and play with us. Oh my gosh, this guy's going to go over there and play, but does he really want to go over there? Someone is selling him the dream this entire time. And it's not one person, it's not two. It's the collective group now. Celebrities from Miami are selling them the dream. You should come here. This is the place to be. This is the place where your kids can be raised. A lot of like-minded people, they'll love you in here. You know, you're from Argentina. He wanted to get the love. It wasn't just about money from there. Some players that when they get to a point to retire, the only thing that matters to them is I'm old, let me get my money. Messi, it was much more than money for him. He wanted to be the greatest of all time and win for his country. He did a check. Number two, he wanted to be in a place to raise his family around people that he's loved and he's accepted. And that dream was sold properly to him by everybody in Miami. So, so a guy like this needs a proven concept to say, well, why would I do this if there's a proven concept? Remember the sinner just earlier, David Beckham, massive role. Look at the relationship and the bond between them. He was the one that was the first that took the risk. $25 million, MLS, who watched MLS back in the days? 15 years, nobody. Now today, nobody would. I remember I went and sat down with the owner of Houston Dynamo. He picked up that organization for $40 million. I've been to that game. I know the owner. He was one of my investors in the past with the company with De La Hoya. MLS, no one believed it, but the proven concept and showing that this is possible eventually got Messi to say, I'm coming. So imagine you're Beckham this entire time. You're like, dude, I'd love to get Messi. I'd love to get Messi. I'd love to get Messi. It's on him to prove to the market that this is the place to be. The more he proved working behind closed doors constantly, eventually he earned the right. He had the moral authority to say, Messi, come take a look at this. This could be a real thing for you. And eventually, obviously it happened. And by the way, the last one I'll tell you, this isn't just one person or two people. This is a lot of people constantly following up. Hey, have you seen what happened here? Did you see what happened in Miami? Did you see during COVID? Did you see what Florida did? Did you see what's going on in Florida? Have you seen the schools? Have you seen what's going on here? What about if you come here? They love you here. It's constant follow-up, 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 follow-up until eventually he came here. Let me tell you when I knew he was moving to Miami. I got an email one day from his realtor. Hey, Patrick, Messi really likes your house. He saw your video. He saw the house. He wants to come and tour the house, and this is the amount. It was a very friendly, generous monthly amount. Do you realize when I had to send that email back, my nine-year-old was so upset at me that I didn't say yes. My nine-year-old was saying, we'll share the house with him. I said, buddy, this guy's not sharing the house with us, and we can't. We got a lot of stuff going on. We had to say, thank you. Appreciate the fact that you like the house, but we cannot do it. That's when I knew he was coming here because we got that email. He came to our community, he looked at the houses, craziness. And by the way, I sent a couple of our guys to go watch his game in Argentina when they won the finals with Mbappe, France, when Mbappe had three goals and they come back just to craziness. That sporting event, the game, may go down as the most incredible sporting game of any sport of all time. Messi was a part of it because he carried so much of a burden. Because if he didn't win that day, he can't go down as the greatest of all time. Because he doesn't have a World Cup and he pulled it off. So for Miami to have picked up a guy like him, who's a, seems like a family guy, a loving guy, a guy that matches the audience that's here in South Florida. Florida loves him. 
He loves Florida. It's been such a great partnership. Him winning the championship, he takes the captain off, he gives it to the older captain, and he says, no, let's lift it up together. You ought to do it, because you were the captain before me. The greatest of all time to do that. It's the kind of stuff that you look at and he said, there's a reason why this guy's a builder. He's a leader amongst leaders. You gotta love Messi on what he's done. So, when you get a chance to recruit a guy like Messi within your business, you may not get him right off the bat. It may take you six months, 12 months, 24 months. It may take you three five sometimes may even take you 10 years like it did with beckham but if you do pick him up that team that beckham bought for 25 million dollars is not today worth about a billion and a half one guy took the valuation from 500 million to billion and a half so if you got those guys you want to recruit be patient with them you recruit them life-changing and also your business is going to change if you got value out of this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and if you're wondering why so many guys are looking at sports i just became recently a minority owner of the yankees why are people is alternative investments and in sports teams and art something you ought to look at you may want to click here to watch that video because some of the data is absolutely crazy with what country in the world is so interested in sports in america take care everybody bye bye bye